occasionally you're going to encounter polynomials that you can't factor or you're going to be given factors into complex numbers and you're going to need to think about how you could do that. So when you're given complex uh, zeros, what you need to recognize is that complex zeros always come in conjugate pairs. Like zeros always conjugate pairs. So what that tells you, and by conjugate, of course, I'm talking about the complex conjugate. So you can never have an odd number of complex roots uh, because you always have to have the conjugate. So for example, if you had some polynomial f of x has the root 3 minus 2i, it also has to have its complex conjugate as a root. So you would be guaranteed that you have the root 3 plus 2i as well. That also goes with multiplicity. So if you had the root um, 1 plus i to the third, so you had the root 1 plus i three times with multiplicity 3, you would have to have 1 minus i with multiplicity 3 also. So complex zeros always come in conjugate pairs, so you can always count uh, how many you have, but if they give you one, you know you have to have the conjugate of the other. Now, remember that the number of zeros of a polynomial is exactly its degree in the complex plane. Now remember when you had a, a function, for example, like x squared plus 4. That's a simple function that you've graphed before, and that doesn't have any zeros. It doesn't touch the x-axis. So many times you said x squared plus 4 has no roots. It actually has two, and they're both in the complex plane. So now, now that we're dealing with complex numbers, we can say that a polynomial always has as many roots as its degree. This is a second degree polynomial, it has two roots. It just so happens that these are complex. So you can see here, what we're doing to solve this is we say x squared equals negative 4. Now before we said that couldn't be done, but now that we have complex numbers, this can easily be done. is x or plus or minus 2i, because when we have i squared, we would get the negative, the plus or minus 2 is what gives you the 4, and you have two roots of this. As you can see, these are complex conjugates, because essentially we have 0 plus 2i, 0 minus 2i. So complex zeros always come in conjugate pairs, and now that we we're dealing with complex numbers, you can always say that a polynomial has as many zeros as its degree, it just so happens that some of them might be complex numbers.